Welcome to a vintage story tutorial on how to smelt and forge iron. My name's Shantin. I make a lot of tutorials and I play a lot of vintage story. This tutorial is being made in a survival world because I think it gives a much better view of the process than if we try to do it in a creative world. So first of all, let's assume that you have found iron. Iron shows up in three forms of rock. It will show itself as limonite, hematite or magnetite. If you look in the top chest, you will see that I've got medium chunks of hematite. And you will see in the bottom chest that I have turned these into nuggets. Now, the way in which we do that is to take an, a hammer, as usual, and even though it's iron, this can be a copper hammer. And you will still be able to change it into nuggets. Those nuggets went in there, I think. <laughs> Let's close that one down. Here we go. Let's do it again. There we are. So you only need a copper hammer. If you run your mouse over your iron nuggets, you will see that the smelting temperature is 1482 degrees centigrade. Now, this is a higher temperature than most of the fuels we've got. So you cannot smelt iron in a crucible. It just won't work. You have to use a bloomery. Now, a bloomery is called a bloomery because it makes iron bloom. A bloomery is a method of enclosing the heat so that it enhances the heat and makes the fuel burn hotter. And this is actually true in real life. These things are based on real life smelting processes. Bloomeries are made out of fire clay. If you haven't made one before, the fire clay is this yellowy looking clay. One clay brick is just made by four. And then these clay bricks need to be fired in a pit kiln. Once you have fired them, you get the fired clay bricks here. And we have 12 here, and 12 is exactly the number you need to make a bloomery. The base of the bloomery takes eight, like that. And the top of the bloomery takes four, like that. You put the base down, you put the top down, you take your nuggets. Now, it's roughly one coal or charcoal to 20 of the nuggets. Now, I happen to know that the maximum that the bloomery will take is 120. And I know that that needs to be paired with six fuel. You point at the base of the bloomery, press shift, and that will put your 120 nuggets in. I'm shift and right clicking here. Then the coal. All right, now we've got six black coal. Now, the bloomery will not let you put more fuel in than you need. You take your torch, you aim it at that little hole because we are in fact lighting the base of the bloomery. You hold, press shift, right click, hold it down until it starts smoking. When it's smoking, the bloomery is lit and you can leave it. Now, when the bloomery stops smoking, it means that you have your iron bloom complete. So at this point, we break the bloomery and you will see, can you see on the ground, that is iron bloom. So we have six iron bloom. We have eight far bricks left over. Remember, we started with 12. So there is a constant need to keep renewing your source of far bricks. If you look at Arn Bloom, and I'll try and magnify this a bit, can you see it's got all sorts of black bits in? I'm holding it in my hand so that you can see that. 
Now, what we have to do is we have to look at this piece of Arne Bloom and we have to get the impurities out of this before we can forge it into an ingot. So what we need to do is to move to one of the forges. I'm going to put a couple of black coal in. You can use charcoal, but I happen to have black coal. I'm going to light those. And then I need to warm up one of these arm blooms. You're going to, I'm just doing one at a time. And can you see, I think that's a better picture. Let me take that off. Can you see the black impurities in it? Now this has to come up to a certain temperature. Now the thing about iron is we may be able to get the nuggets out with a copper hammer, but when you come to work iron, you cannot work it on a copper anvil. You have to have at least a tier two anvil, which means in my case, tin bronze, black bronze would do just as well, but you can't work it on a copper anvil. So you have to really get to a bronze anvil before you can work the iron. Now this will gently be heating up. The temperature has reached 1100, which is as high as it will get. We can now work this arm bloom. It's better to do this on a half hammer, which I will show you when I finish this. But in the meantime, take your hammer. Now, can you see all these impurities? Press F, we have to knock out the impurities. So all these bits have to be knocked out. And it's a laborious process. And as I said, it's better with a health hammer, but at the moment I want to show you the manual process. If you've got a health hammer with a bronze head, and that's essential, you can skip this process and just put this straight onto a health hammer. You don't have to do it manually. But in the meantime, can you see how I am just gently trying to get all the nasty impurities out of here? There's something actually immensely satisfying about knocking out the impurities. Right, there's one more there. Now, is that an impurity? I think it is. Right, now, we have to get this into being an iron nugget. So we have to move the... Uh, bits that are red into the bits that are green. Not a nugget, an ingot, I beg your pardon. The other thing you should know about this process is that these will go up. So if I press F, this one will come across, this should come up. That one will come up. <laughs> it's just playing difficult because I'm making a tutorial. Let's get that one across. Will that go up? Yes, that will go up. Move them across, down. Right looking round, I think I have it. So I'm going to knock out the bits I don't need. And we have an iron ingot. Now, in order to make this into anything else, you can put it straight on the forge and then you can just make it into anything you like. So that's actually a very simple process, but it's better if you use a health hammer. Let me show you that process. Before we start this process, please notice that I have a health hammer with a bronze head. This is tin bronze, and I also have a tin bronze anvil. And this is what you need for this process. So our iron bloom is heating up almost there and you can see it goes all these beautiful colors as it heats up and again we only need it to heat to 1100 degrees there it is press shift right click 
Now you don't need to press anything else because the Helve hammer will automatically knock all the impurities out. Can you see it just doing that? And when it has finished knocking the impurities out, it will then form it into an ingot. And I have to say that in comparison to doing this by hand, this is the preferable method. So frankly, if you found iron, I would definitely always try and use this method. The other side of it, of course, is that you can be uh, forging whatever tools you want to make out of iron because they're very long lasting at the same time as this is doing the work on making the iron ingots for you. There we go. Yeah, it's knocking out this side. I find this absolutely fabulous, this mechanization. It just does one pixel at a time. You can see it's working on here. There we are. But what it does do is it's much better at forming the ingot at the same time as it's getting rid of the impurities. There we go, almost there. There. And we have our iron ingot that we can turn into whatever we like. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a very, very simple process to make the iron once you know exactly what you're doing. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and good luck with making all the iron. Bye bye.